the drums rum coming everywhere. So prepare, say a prayer. Send the word, send the word to beware. We'll be over, we're coming over, and we won't come back till it's over. bells for these who die as cattle. Only the monstrous anger of the guns. Only the stuttering rifles rapid rattle and patter out their hasty orisons. No mockeries for them. No prayers, nor bells, nor any voice of mourning save the choirs. The shrill, demented choirs of wailing shells and bugles calling for them from sad shires. What candles may be held to speed them all? Not in the hands of boys, but in their eyes shall shine the holy glimmers of goodbyes. The pallor of girls' brows shall be their pall, their flowers the tenderness of patient minds, and each slow dusk a drawing down of blinds. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. The Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, by air. President Roosevelt has just announced. We take you now to Washington. My fellow Americans, in this poignant hour, I ask you to join with me in prayer. Almighty God, impart our courage unto our son wheresoever they may be. With thy blessing, we shall prevail over the unholy forces of our enemy. We're off to see Herr Hitler, the mythical wizard of Oz. We hear he is a wizard of a whiz, a son of a by God. restored to the world Five, four, and that God three, will four, preserve it one, always. As a great philosopher once said, you're in the God! Harvey, want anything special for your birthday? Just a decent cup of coffee. It's pretty harsh. Well, so's your coffee. If, uh, if you are a motion picture actor who was featured in newspaper stories, would it have been as a result of your performances in World War II? Yes, that would be true, Doctor Miss Arley. Well, Mr. Sir, are you Audie Murphy? Audie Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> 
On Sunday, June 25th, communist forces attacked the Republic of Korea. I knew it'd be bad, and I hope I, I was just, you know, I hope I can do what I'm supposed to do and don't let anybody down. I wanted to cry. I didn't, but I wanted to cry. You learn to control your emotions. Everything was frozen like a rock. But you just kept putting one foot ahead of the other. And I heard bang, bang, bang. And then you'd hear a scream. Somebody had been hit. The enemy coming at us in, in these huge numbers. We just barely survived. I just thank God for letting me survive that. And I pray about the other fellows that we've lost. Let the word go forth from this time and place to friend and foe alike that the torch has been passed to a new generation of Americans. Here is a bulletin from CBS News. From Dallas, Texas, the flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, some 38 minutes ago. Vice President Lyndon Johnson <clears throat> has left the hospital. Increasingly clear to this report that the only rational way out then will be to negotiate, not as victors, but as an honorable people who lived up to their pledge to defend democracy and did the best they could. This is Walter Cronkite. I'm going to step off the limb now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Somewhere in space, this may all be happening right now. Star Wars.